Pets. I'm watching. I'm reading the uh, the newspaper, and um, they did this article. Right, this I this woman wrote this article talking about how there was these two twins that played for the University of Miami. They played mm-hmm. basketball, Division One. Okay. Okay. So I don't give a fuck. Even if you're coming off the bench, you you can play. One was averaging 15 points a game. Which, I mean, I don't, what do they score in college? 50, 60 points? That's a lot of points. And her twin sister was f- getting four points a game. So there was this big thing about colleges making money off of athletes' images. Okay. And now they, they somehow the athletes have won the right to actually make money on what they look like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So these two twins are beautiful, blondes. Mm-hmm. They start taking pictures of themselves in bikinis and whatnot and da-da-da-da-da, right? Growing, and Growing their followers. Yes. Yeah, and uh, they made two million bucks. Oh, good for them. Thank you. This woman What's wrote this... Because it should be more about their skills and not their bodies. No, because so. they're... Well, yeah, that was her point. They're going like, they made all this money because they're pretty. So-and-so, you know, averaged 25 points a game and blah, 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 blah. But she stopped short of saying she wasn't as good looking. But that's what she was saying. That was the implication, is that the person that's really the the skilled athlete... Athlete? Yeah, ath- athlete. Athlete, yep. Um, is not getting the recognition... Because they're not exploiting their good looks, or the looks. Let me ask you this: How are you exploiting your looks if you're making money? Yeah, I mean they have agency if they're doing it themselves. They they know what's gonna work, and they're twins, and they're both beautiful, and they both are athletic, so I'm sure they have great bodies, and so they're just kind of yeah, like playing so, the game, and they're they're profiting off of it. Which I feel like this is what we this is what we're uh, I don't know if what we're supposed to be doing, but if that's what they want to do, then they should. Do it. Yeah. So I just kind of thought it was interesting that they kind of came out and first of all, she acts like they're playing on, on like playing at the University of Miami, playing women's basketball. Like they didn't have to beat out a bunch of people to do it. They she acts like it wasn't Division One. This one went back to like Anna Kornikova, who was smoking hot. And Is that you, the tennis girl? Oh my God, she was gorgeous. One of the most beautiful women in the world, right? And she was and and was like the eighth ranked woman. In professional tennis, mm-hmm. she never won a major, but she played in them. She could have just been the fucking hottie trying to get a free fucking Zambuca at the local fucking bar. <laughs> she played tennis and became... Zambuca? Whatever the fuck it is. Zambuca. <laughs> whatever it is. She, got, she became the eighth ranked tennis player in the world. And that was all out the fucking window because, you know, she didn't win like a major, didn't do the whole thing. I just think all of that fucking shit is like, it's always comes from women who aren't as pretty as he obviously is the woman that they're complaining about. And then it also comes from guys that feel like they can't get beautiful women. They're fucking beautiful. If they can make money off of it, Mm -hmm. they didn't set up the deal. That's how the deal works. So they're playing the game. I just, I gotta be honest as a card carrying misogynist. Like it was great to see this woman write this article (laughs) and take down those two women. Are you officially a card carrying? Yes. Okay. So after I have my cup of coffee and, you know, read my newspaper yeah. and talk about the water company. Okay. The water- <laughs> <laughs> I, I go around the corner and, uh, you know, it's me and a bunch of other fucking idiots. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I, I just, I, I don't understand. Why, why can't they, you know, they look good in a bikini. Why can't you go make money doing that? I, I, I don't have a problem with it, but I think that there is a, a, a structure in place in terms of, you know, the patriarchy. That's a bigger conversation. That's really what she's getting at. I don't think she was. She was talking about beauty. Well, I want to read. I want to read the article. Wait, is this somehow going to come down that men fucked up here? This is like literally woman yes. on woman crime here. <laughs> I'm sure she was talking about something bigger than what you've distilled it down to. Well, that was very, wow. That was very condescending. Wow. I, 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 met, I mean, I. <laughs> wow. All right, Nia Renee Hill, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. That's it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm the one, I'm supporting those two fucking people that win two million, that make $200 million, right? $200 fucking, fucking whatever they're doing. Because I was trying not to say broads. I'm supporting those two broads. <laughs> whatever. All right. I mean, okay. I guess, I guess that it's just, it's just fucking, you know something? I have to be honest with you. That is the thing that fucking annoys the shit out of me. 
about which, women where it's just like when it's what, 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 when it's when it's the guy's fault it's our fault and when it's your fault it's still our fault how do you grow well, i mean that's a question for you ask your fellow brethren that I have to like somehow figure out why a woman would take two other women down who made $2 million who are being exploited, exploited by the patriarchy, whatever the fuck that means, right? The university, and they figured out a way whatever to make- Whatever the fuck that means. They figured out a way to make 2 million bucks. I'm happy And then them. somehow that's my fault and I need to do work. <laughs> what about the lady that wrote the article? I want to read it, but maybe she's got some bias against- You want to read it. I do want to read it. To give her the benefit of the doubt. Should I be giving you the benefit of the doubt? Evidently not, Mr. because... Mr. Car Carrying no. Misogynist, I should give you the benefit of the doubt about when a woman speaks about what women are going through? I should give you the benefit of the doubt? No. I'm I just read, think it's I'm interesting. Gonna her, I'm going to read her words. Yeah, but and you didn't you, give me the benefit of the doubt. your laminated misogynist card can, you know, put that in your little pipe and smoke it. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't give me the benefit of the doubt. You immediately thought that I was being a fucking idiot. And here's the thing. I did think that. Can I ask you a question? If you go read I this, are you going to do like a page 90 retraction of your comments on me? Like how they always do in the newspaper? Perhaps I will. In a very small print at the very bottom <laughs> corner. <laughs> I just, I, okay. You know what this really taps into, Nia? It really has nothing to do with like, that misogyny shit. What it has to do is I just fucking hate people that just fucking- Just stop there. <laughs> <laughs> you are destroying me. There's really no need to go any further. We All right. got it. All right. All right, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Woo, it's good to be back.